Hi, this is Mary Reinhardt doing a course reflection on Educational Technology 650 at Ball State University, which is Curriculum, Integration, and Technology. I want to start out by reminding you of a little bit of a background about myself. I'm a former teacher and technology integration specialist at a local school district. I'm now an educational specialist for a State Department of Education, so I'm no longer in the classroom. I do work with a division of e-learning at the State Department, but they are not fully integrated into my division. Throughout this course, I've tried to scale up the examples to see how things could be applied at the state level for larger change, because that's a large part of what I do. I've done this in place of applying things at the classroom level in many cases. When I started this course, I was ex expecting this course to be about technology and curriculum. In many ways, these thoughts were realized. I wasn't expecting to discover the deep relationship between technology integration and curricular development. I thought I was using technology in my curriculum as a teacher, and I was. But I wasn't implementing it to its full potential and seeing technology as a tool that could influence how curriculum was developed. Using the ISTE standards, I've realized that curriculum should be influenced by technology and curriculum can be redesigned with the tools that are available to today's teachers and learners. One of the biggest ahas for me in this course was about web quests. I have several that I've developed when I was a teacher that were actually scavenger hunts on the internet. The PBL project and readings about PBL challenged this thinking and allowed me to create a true web quest. I've worked with project-based learning in the past, but using the ISTE standards to guide my project-based learning took it to a new level. I enjoyed this project and plan to share it with other teachers. Equity and access was the discussion that most stuck with me through the course. Equity and access are two of my core educational values, so I really enjoyed reading the article from the Department of Education to see how educational technology has impacted access to curriculum for students with special needs. I also really enjoyed hearing from my classmates on, through VoiceThread about how equity, what equity and access means to them in the context of educational technology. It was interesting to hear how one-to-one -one had impacted their schools and how it can be a tool to, to help students of, of all varieties and backgrounds. My next step on my personal journey is to implement some of the things I have learned on a larger scale. The challenges are rather small in some ways and much larger in others. In my division at work, we are trying to work with e-learning to have a more integrated approach to curriculum and technology. Now that I'm ex educated about how curriculum and technology fit together, I feel like I can have a valuable opinion to share, backed by a folder full of research and resources. Our organization and actions as a state should reflect best practices, and in this area of integration, they currently do not. I would like to try to influence this using what I have learned during the course. Thank you to my classmates and to Dr. Brewer for creating a vibrant and exciting semester, summer semester. I look forward to learning more about educational technology through my educational journey.